G'day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Capping TV. Tonight we've got the Open Grand Final, the uh, the rematch from the upper bracket Grand Finals between HK and Team Gosford. Um, just like the upper bracket finals, we'll be seeing all the same maps tonight, just in a slightly different order. Um, so, yeah, we'll get it underway shortly. Um, but on the side of Gosford tonight, we've got uh, Fail Rail on the Pocket Soldier. We've got Snowball on the Roma. From the demo side, we've got Nast. And then for the two scouts, we've got Miz on the combo and Pub on the flank. And then Gronk pulling up the rear with Medic. And then for the side of HK, we've got Vitro and Fusa as our two scouts, Chubbs as our pocket, Bub as our Roma, Galactic Core as the demo, and Papatui for the medic. Um, so maps tonight, we'll be seeing Process and Metalworks, and the third map will be Product. Are you back and ready to go, Snazzy? I think I am. How's this sound? Yeah. Much All better. Better the internet swap over job. <laughs> I apologize. All so, good, my friend. So yeah, this should be a poppin' game. I mean, these guys faced off in the upper playoffs, didn't they? Yeah, they did. It was a, a close uh stalemate game on uh process. I think Gosford um was whittled away at the end a bit and, and, and lost a bit of their motivation, so the score difference didn't super represent it, but happy to see them have another go at it. Yeah, man, for sure. And I mean, HK has been fairly dominant throughout this whole season, but I mean, Gosford has also been similarly dominant, uh, really only losing to HK, I believe. I think that's kind of it. Yeah, only losing in the upper bracket final, so their only loss all season for uh, Gosford. HK had a had a slow start, but definitely pulling out all the all the stops for the the back end of the season here. Yeah, HK have really been uh, showing showing what they're worth towards the, the end of this season. And I mean, Gosford has been shockingly powerful the whole way through the season, but uh, they've sort of like met their match in the form of HK. Um, and it should be a very, very good game. I mean, I know both teams have been scrimming pretty religiously. Um, so a lot of, a lot of power. But uh, it's kind of going to be interesting to see if like, the the old school knowledge from a lot of the the Gosford players is going to come through in the end and sort of give them an, an edge here. I think. Yeah, some of these some of these blokes and, and girls have been playing for since season twelve eleven of our division kind of stuff. So coming back due to, to lockdown and things like that. But um, yeah, that old knowledge stored away somewhere, and I'm sure it'll come out. Yeah. I mean, HK is definitely like a, uh, a newer roster, shall I say. But I mean, they've got some returning players like uh, Chubbabub. He's, uh, he's been around for like a little while. I, I believe he's been around uh, since about 2015. Uh, took a brief break, but uh, everyone always comes back to Team Fortress. Yeah, no one can get away from it, eh? <laughs> it's like a disease, man. Yeah. So we should be seeing this match get underway reasonably soon. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely pretty interested in this one. Um, I mean, as our open correspondent, Berto, I'm, uh, I'm sure that you'd be pretty interested in the outcome as well, your team coming in third place. Yeah, coming in third place this season, um, having a loss to, to Gosford in the, the semis. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good season all around, um, and a good outcome for the, for the Weezer boys overall. Yeah, they uh, kind of showed their their power on uh, Metalworks there a little bit, which is one of the maps we'll be seeing tonight. So uh, I I do I'm sorry I've lost the order. Metalworks is the second map, so it's not it's not the decider. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it, that should that should be very good for for Gosford. I believe Process was HK's pick, but I mean everyone's played Pro. So it's like a gazillion times, right? It's the pug yeah. map, map everyone plays. The first pug map, as well as being the final map for both leagues of the season, and then I think appearing in every single of the playoff maps that these teams have played. So 
Uh, these teams have played it for the last five or six weeks solid, realistically. So no one is a better team on process. It's just who who pulls out the stops on the day, who plays better. Yeah. So who do you think has the bigger edge just based on, like, the players here? Because uh, process is, like, a pretty good map for, like, soldiers. Um, and that's uh, that's Falrel and uh, Schnobel versus um, Chubbabub and... I'm sorry, I've lost the other name. Uh, Bub, I think it is. Is it? Yeah, so it's Chubbs and I assumed and Bub. that was a fake. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, look, I think if Farrell, if she can can pull out all of her, she likes to, to hide in some, some sneaky spots around this map, and being on the receiving end, I can tell you that that's not the, the most fun experience. Um, but I think we'll see both soldiers from the side of uh, HK here do a do a, a fast fast kind of rollout. You'll see both soldiers, if it's the same as the past few weeks they've been playing, come out pretty quick and and both taking that that height. So we'll have to see how it plays out. Yeah, and uh, I've been informed of uh, some inaccuracies in our pronunciation. I should just uh, say because I know he is a bit particular. His uh, his name is Papa Patui, not. It, it's not Papa Patui. Or it's, I don't know. It's Papa Pa. <laughs> it, it's it's three on the trot, is it? I believe it is. You gotta roll the R. Yeah. Yes. It's like speaking Czech or something. <laughs> <laughs> that should cheer him up a bit. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do think that the, with the way that the soldiers are gonna be playing, is that I I believe that'll make a pretty big impact on the mid. Um, and having that high ground control early is obviously going to be very important. It always is on process. Uh, the demo man sort of able to get a lot of damage in early if players are in the wrong spot. Yeah, we'll we'll see how it plays out. We've got one team readying up here, so we should be be ready to go reasonably soon. How do you reckon it's going to go? If you had the gun to your head, make a prediction. I think um i think it'll go to four three i think it's gonna go hk's way if i'm being being honest on this one um yeah i think them winning the upper bracket finals um might have a bit to, to hold over the top of gosford here but uh, i'll let you take us into this first mid here <laughs> yes sir so ladies and gentlemen this is the oz fortress season 29 Open Grand Finals, winner takes all uh, of the bragging rights, really. That's kind of all you get. <laughs> but coming into this first mid, we actually see Galactic get there so much earlier than Naz. He does not quite have that much damage off, but Bub is there nice and early to block off the health pack as well. So Nast having to wait for a bow there. We do see Chubbub getting a big bomb across, but not really achieving very much. Foul Rail and Pub XP getting right up in there. Frag and Fusa. Snowball getting a bit of a credit for that one as well. And it's just looking great for Gosford here. They've done so much damage. They've cleaned up the med and the demo at Choke there. And they're going to be able to push directly into second. Absolutely dominant performance from Gosford there on the mid. Taking that high ground and taking so much space with it on those blue crates. Um, um, other than back out and by then it was a bit too late. Yeah, we did see a bit of a sack from Bub there, trying to force uh, force Gronk as he came on through. But they're going to be able to push in with full override coming in through door one here. Big U. A lot of players coming through. Miss actually getting dropped, I believe. But they have cleaned up the sentry gun and the demo man, which is a pretty good start. They've so got much some time on the point. Oh my god, it's all crumbling though! They can't convert it on that one. It looks like we might have... Sack coming out from the, the soldiers here to try and catch them leaving choke, but it's it's too late and they'll give away second here. Yeah, just a bit of a flub push as they came through there. I think uh, they dropped that one player early and they just weren't able to convert too many frags. Um, and facing like a, what's this, 30 odd this ad. I mean, it's pushable, but it's kind of difficult. So HK might want to rest on their laurels here. What do you think? Yeah, I think in, they'd have to push now. Um, or otherwise they're, they're, they've lost the, the opportunity really. Um, with Gronk getting up to, to 85 now, they've, they've almost certainly lost the, the opportunity to push off that ad now. Um, yeah. I do think they know it as well because they've sort of like set up in that way to uh, just be ready for a sack or something, but uh, nothing really happening so far. So we're off to the first stalemate of the match. 
the first of a few I, I can imagine, but once this breaks, we'll, I'm sure we'll see some more carnage like we did earlier from either side. Yeah. I, I do wonder, though, about uh, Gosford here, because I feel like they, they tire a bit uh, in the longer matches. That seems to be the way that it's been from what I've seen. Um, I don't know if I'm calling them out on nothing here, though. Um, yeah, it has it has been a, a factor over their, their past few matches. If they can keep it to two, I think they'll be happy and and we'll, uh, we'll see a pretty tight and clean match all around from them. But given... We see Farrell go in for the, the medic there. Puppets we get a nice surf out and unfortunate there for Farrell couldn't convert, but very nice from, from Papatili and his, the rest of his team for cleaning that up. Yeah, uh, Falrell had a really deep bomb and got uh, Papa down to about 30. We did see a failed bomb from uh, Chubbub come through Choke there. Gets cleaned up by uh, both of the scout. But uh, I think it's going to be another reset. That said, Chubba is down for quite some time and they've come straight on through Choke. Miss getting a lot of this Uber. It's a big fat solo. It's bullied them pretty far back, but the Uber's just come back on the other side, and it's looking like a much better Uber for HK. Gronk taking a fat rocket as he comes out of choke there, but the frags are going the way. Farrell coming in with some fat rockets. Holy shit, deleting both scouts. Papa Patui trying to get out through door one. Snowball's there, but he gets cleaned up. This is looking really, really good for uh, Gossard here. Yeah, in the, in the middle of that Uber while Gossard were backing out, Pub on the flank came in and just... Got rid of Galactical, trying to sticky out, re sticky out the point. Yeah, we do see a lot of spawns coming through though. Miss having a bail on out of uh, of last there through door five, and it looks like they're pretty keen to push this nonetheless, with no real discernible advantage. But uh, they are playing it very, very slow, probably waiting for a frag before they come in on this one. But with uh, Miss going down very, very low, and actually dying to Galactic. I and they get so the it's point there. Still looking good because they're just able to play the point and really face no uh, no energy from HK. Yeah, just bullied off the point there with a few rockets from Farrell, I think it was, and they had no opportunity to, to hold it. Yeah, HK kind of flubbing the, the play there, trying to stop him, but coming into this mid, we do see Galactic get there very early once again. Very aggressive with his rollout onto the right side. Both teams swapping sides, taking that right side. Galactic going down, both scouts in on him. This is looking pretty good for them. Snowball going down though as well, which is pretty lethal. But I do think that uh, Gosford has a bit of an advantage here. They do lose one of their scouts in a bit too deep. Fail rails down very low. This is not looking great for Gosford anymore, but they do still have some opportunity here. Gronk having a bail though, down very low. And I believe that's going to be the mid. Yeah, Gronk got a nice surf out there from the uh, from the sewer door out back through Cho and was able to, to survive. Um, I think we'll see a bit of a stabilization here as the spawners come back up from both sides and a, a, a bit of a stalemate once again with the, the Uber being even. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. We do see uh, Miz up on Spy though, which is very, very early. Is this like a common play for them? I think you mm. know them better than I do. Yeah, Miz's Spy is a lethal thing. You, you can never predict him. He has the perfect timing for it. Um, well, I say perfect, but the, the most unconventional and the, the most lethal timing for it, realistically. We see him in. trying to get the, the nice decloak in near uh, near Chubbs there, but he's just, he's not decloaking, he's standing and waiting for his opportunity. And in the meantime, Pub on the flank, taking out Bub, which is pretty fat. It uh, gives them some opportunity here. Miz was in, whiffed the stab, got a couple butter knives on a Papa Patui, but uh, Papa... Happily just saying, nah, I'm not using bro. Don't, don't you worry. Very unfortunate there. Just a few few steps behind and he wasn't able to get the stab there. Just got it off a little too early and, and beefed the stab. Yeah, it all works out though. I mean, it was essentially a trade for players and uh, set. So we'll just have to see how Gosford really wants to play this. They do have that, uh, that one round ad, but that's not very much, hey? Not too much, not enough to park the bus on. We've seen it happen a few times throughout all of the divisions this season. A team tries to maybe park the bus with one round add and we, we see it get very close towards the end. Yeah, losing Falrail in Sewer there, gonna give uh, HK some opportunity to sort of like play through Choke here. Their demo getting uh, quite a few stickies through but no real damage happening. There was some uh, sort of abortive attempts at sacks, but uh, I think with the player coming back up here, it's not looking great for HK to force the issue here. Chubb goes down there on the 
the sewer door to a to an attempted sab, uh, sack, sorry. And we see Snowball as well going down in IT to uh, Fusa there. Felrel managing to trade for Fusa though, which is pretty clean. And I think that HK recognizes that they are going to lose this fight being three down. They just back straight out of mid. So Gosford able to push straight forward into mid and uh, regain the forward spawn for really no effort. Yeah, we just saw both of the flank for HK die and that Asak come in at the wrong time as well. And they lose three for it and it's very free for Gosford to come just back into mid for, for no cost at all. Definitely what they want to see. It's uh, it's pretty much like the ideal sort of push is when you don't have to lose anything. You don't even have to use your your Uber, so it's still totally even with full Uber. Yeah, it's always always a good thing when that happens. Yeah. But how do you think they should play this? I mean, they're they're fighting on the flank a little bit, which does seem to be fairly dominant between Pub and Schnobel, but uh, they do end up having to back out actually, taking a lot of damage right as I say it. But uh, how do you think they they should try to like? get this together i think if they exploit that flank again if they you know take two down on the flank they can take an uber trade and and just clean up i think on the the other side um they lose bob on the flank here and getting aggressive there but just the one for that one um you see nas getting very aggressive in choke they're looking to take an uber here as hk staying on the point getting very forward getting ready to, to trade perhaps Barrel bombs in and absolutely destroys, uh, I think that was Vitro there, and uh, get the force out there as well by Miz. Uber's looking better on the side of Gosford here, they, but they look like, oh no, they're coming back in here, um, and they get a few numbers. Bub jumps in, tries to get Gronk here to no avail, and Gronk is, actually it's gone worse for Gosford here, they had the numbers. But they just couldn't do anything with it, and Gronk goes down, and they're pushed back to their second by the seems of things. Yeah, a really good defense out of HK there. They sort of like noticed that some players weren't getting much of the beam in the middle of that uber. They knew they'd be low towards the end, and uh, they were just like able to go directly onto those players and delete them early. And then turning that player out around, I mean, player out is always better than uber out, because you win every fight, right? But, yeah. Uh, we see Galactic actually crater there from Snowball as well. Snowball with the two for one rocket gets the gets the two of them, um, and that's a very good defense there on on second from Gosford from a from a couple of good rockets from Snowball. Yeah, Snowball really putting the work in, but they do have to be fearful of this Uber out here. Papa Patui with that full Uber and Gronk only has about forty percent. They're really in no place to push, but they could just solo straight through choke with how close Gosford is here. Felrel's in with a big old bomb. Getting some damage and the force onto Papa Patui though, which is so clean for them. The Uber's not great, it's fading at Choke. Chubbabub trying to get in, but uh, he's gonna have to bail as well. And that's so good for Gosford. <laughs> Gosford, absolutely. Farrell helping him out so much on that one. The, Ch the Uber was over before they even made it through Choke, which is not the ideal situation when you're trying to push into second there. Um, and it leaves Gosford with 60% ad here to take back into mid. Yeah, which it looks like they're going to be taken pretty much directly through IT or PC for you dirty Euros. But uh, they have been seen there, so they're eating quite a lot of spam. So they have used early, which is pretty bad for them. They have gotten some area, but they've cleaned up Galactic and Fusa while losing Nas that uh, choke there. A bit of a trap. Chubbabub's behind, though, forcing them to sort of reset and just commit to getting the, the middle point. But uh, they are on a big old diss ad now. Yeah. Chubbs is coming through IT here, but I think it's a little too late as they're pushing through Choke, recognizing that they're down um, players. But we see the Uber come out from HK and absolutely cleaning up Gosford here, too aggressive, and they're, they're pushed all the way back out. Uh, Nast is stuck in, in their Choke and has recognized the situation and is all the way back out to last here by the seams of things. It was not the desired outcome at all. <laughs> no way was that the desired outcome. I think uh, during their Uber there, they lost Nas to a Sticky Trap at Choke. And that kind of put them on the back foot because they didn't really have any ability to lock them out of middle there once they'd capped it. Um, and it's just like they were able to, the, the HK gentlemen were able to uh, just push straight on through really. Yeah, not much uh, resistance really with that, that Uber ad that they had then after Gronk using his on mid. Um, but it looks like we see HK going through lowers in the lobby and ready to take a fight. 
Yeah, definitely a big fight here for them with uh, about 30 odd add. They have come straight on through. Galactic taking quite a lot of damage, getting lol suspended, but Pub goes down. He was the heavy there. There is a bit of fighting going on on all ends here, but it's looking like it's coming out for HK. They're getting quite a lot of damage out there, killing players. They've trapped that point off and they've capped it, bringing it in to 1-1. One, one. A very textbook play from HK there, just able to trap off the point and just get in for with that uber ad for and cleaning up the kills for free, really. Yeah, a really, really good push out of them. Coming into this mid, we do see Galactic get there once again a little bit quicker. He's got some stickies in choke, which is delaying the Gosford guys from pushing in. Bub getting really aggressive as well on Soldier there. But uh, Gosford's managed to get in. They've lost two really, really early. Great frags. Three coming out for HK. They're going to be able to push this straight on through. They're very aggressive at choke. And we do see a pause, which I assume has come after the uh, the full wipe here, I believe. Yeah. Oh, no. Maybe we don't see a pause. No, I think it was just a, maybe a stutter on your end. Maybe it was. Um, yeah, so not looking good for Gosford here. HK played an excellent mid, just able to, to clean up the frags and then post mid get the medic. But we see Farrell coming in from from Sewer there, trying to get two rockets on the Papatui, but not enough to to get him to use or to to uh we didn't even have so to kill him really. Yeah, definitely not what uh, Farrell was hoping for there. But with this full this ad really miss, uh, Miz is moving his sentry forward. I think it might have been a bit too late. They're already in through door five. The sentry going down and Miz in a bad spot on NG there, not able to get back out and respawn. Going down as well. Gronk down very, very low. Pub does get a frag, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And he is done. That is round two to HK with very, uh, a one round lead. Very dominant round there from, from mid through to last. It's... It's a, a very good play there, just securing a, a quick, easy, about two minute round there. Yeah, I think they're capitalizing on their demo getting early again. And we do see Bub getting in nice and early to support his demo as well. This is like watching a chess game. And uh, we see Snowball take a big old midi, but clean up the demo man for it, which is a pretty good trade. Failrail cleaning up another as well. This is looking pretty good for Gosford here. They've got good control of the high ground. Chubbabub is in though. Miz was there to meet him, but uh, not quite enough. This is such a scrappy, scrappy fight, but we do see HK sort of backing out a little bit. But then Chubbabub cleaning up Gronk. That is so bad for Gosford. And it's going to spell the end of this minute. Chubbabub staying in really late there and securing that frag. So valuable for that that mid for, for HK and really when it seemed a pretty pretty over mid for HK he brought it back. Yeah, definitely really good play out of Chubbub there. Sort of like duking around gamers non-stop. And uh, with this full ad just capping two now, I do think this is gonna be a very, very difficult hold for goals for them. Yeah, I think we'll see another textbook Uber come in through three or four here for the for the uh, last fight. We're coming through five. A very Long milk, they haven't even used yet. They're coming up to heaven, taking their players. Chubbs and and the medic up the top, very late use now, coming out, cleaning up Gronk, cleaning up Nas, plenty of cap time coming in from the two scouts in the demo, and Farrell can't do anything on the brass beat, it's heavy to get there in time. Yeah, just such a good push out of them. I mean, there's not much you can do against a full Uber ad push, but man, that was really good from HK. They were able to get so far in before they had the U. Coming into this mid though, we do see Galactic get there fairly early again. Some stickies across, but no damage once again. Nast is getting pumped away from his pack though, which is taking up some valuable heal. They do have pretty good control of the high ground, but Snowball going down, first frag of the mid. Failrail getting in pretty deep, Another a big nice old double mid. B onto Mufusa. Downwards too, that's the hard ones, man. But the fight's still going, it's scrappy as hell. There's players going down, trading left, right, and center. It is looking like it's coming out for HK though. They have good control of the mid. And with Nas going down at choke here, that's gonna spell the end. Luckily for Gosford this time, the Medica seems to be out, but Bub is jumping in really deep. Able to be cleaned up by Pub there and then Snowball back in to, to bully them back through choke there. Yeah, man, this is uh, this is some crazy fighting going on. We do see Galactic very, very deep, sort of on his lonesome here. And with Gronk there, ready to meet him with his scout. Pub taking a fight on the point. The rest of the team is there to meet him. Falrail's in very, very deep, getting the force out onto Papa Patui. Pub did die in the middle of that one, though, which is going to put them on uh, the back foot as they sort of uh, 
defend against the players that are going to come sacking in to last year. Yeah, Gronk gets out. He had no one with him for a period of time there. He was just standing in door one, waiting for his scout to meet him after Pub died. And luckily he got out and um, was able to keep his, his Uber there without having to use. Yeah. I did pick up Fusa in the lobby there, though. I think that may have been a bit of an overextend from him. And uh, they are coming through lower. We don't see any major things happening yet. The Uber gets used, and Nast is not able to get very, very deep with it. They clean up Chubbubub, who came through, I think, to force, but uh, that's kind of the end of their Uber. And that's not what you want to see if you got with it. Yeah, really, really stuffed Uber there. Um, done by Chubbs jumping behind and a, a bit of spam from the rest of them. Um, but yeah, really wasn't able to, to get through. Yeah. So for any uh, any viewers watching on Capping Television 1, thank you for joining us. This one is now being moved over to Capping Television 2. And please enjoy the main finals. If you wish to uh, join us for this cast, come on over to Capping TV 2. But uh, the Uber came straight on through. It was a really good one out of HK, cleaning up Failrail and Snowball, which is uh, pretty good for them being able to take that second. But uh, they weren't able to collect a Gronk or really any of the players that they needed to to be able to cap last. Yeah, we do see Chubbs oh. coming in and oh getting Gronk. Oh my god! What was that? Chubb just thread the needle with that rocket, man. It went between like three different players to clean up Gronk as he was getting very close to the Uber. And that's put HK firmly in the in the black here, man. They're able to just sort of build this Uber up and get straight on through. But we do see Miz on Spy getting behind, but it might be too late as they take this lobby area. They're coming straight through five again. It's kind of the same story that we've seen previously. Miz is on, but does go down to a blind deck. This, the Uber has come on through. Snowball is down very, very low over on that right-hand side. Does end up dying, and they're just able to play that point. There's nothing that Gossett can do. Might have, it was just unfortunate that Miz got that spy, went on that spy a little too late to, to capitalize, but HK playing a very, once again, confident last push there. Yeah, definitely very, very confident. Coming into this mid, Galactic there, once again, very, very early. Nast taking the fight, though, this time. Not really waiting around to get that bow. And they've taken this right side on Gosford. They do have a lot of damage going across, but nothing happening so far. Snowball goes down after getting a bit too aggressive onto Papa Patui. Pub is kind of caught in IT, but he is on Papa Patui, which could be really good. Felrail going down, not very great for Gosford, though. They do end up cleaning. Oh my god. He gets Puppets of Sui, threads the needle through all of the rest of the team, and Gronk is just surviving, dodging some rockets while on second fire there, and it leaves them with their uh, sizable Uber out here to push back into mid with. Definitely a sizable Uber advantage. They do lose the middle though, and with nine minutes left on the clock, it's kind of getting a bit dangerous for them. There's uh, nine minutes at 30, I believe which uh, is enough time to cap this out, but it's going to be, they're going to have pressure on it. But cleaning up Fusa there, definitely giving them the intro that they need to get this mid. Yeah, they'll have to, they might have to take it to Golden Cap if they want a chance to, to win this map, Gosford. But HK sitting very, very prime. And if they wanted to, I think they could almost afford to park the bus on this one. Not that we want to see that. We want to see some, some nice fights, some nice Uber trades and things like that to uh, keep this game spicy. HK is definitely a team sort of like known to do whatever it takes to win though. And with uh, the Ubers evening up here, we do see Snowball coming in for a fat bomb, cleaning up Papa Patui. A big old drop. Holy shit, that's good for Gosford. Gosford is loving that one. The boys are very happy. Snowball coming in with a nice bomb and absolutely cleaning up. Yeah, man, and that's going to give them what they need to be able to push to here relatively for free. Bub is sort of waiting, though, in that upper IT area, trying to clean up gamers, and no one was in second when they used through. They didn't scout it enough. Bub I had fragged. no idea. Oh, my God. That's absolutely a gift for HK there. They, they leave that with 30 ad on defending last from 100% disad, so a very good outcome for, for HK on that one. Uh, Snowball takes down the sentry gun, but we see uh, see them come back up on the scout. 
Um, but we'll, we'll see how this fight turns out. A lot of players up in heaven. Puppetui and, and Fusa holding the right side. And we see Farrell come in and try and clean up Chubbs there, but unfortunately can't be... can't convert on that one. Yeah, and they have cleaned up the other soldier in that lobby area, which has given HK a lot of room to maneuver. And they're actually keen to push straight on it out here. They don't have that much ad anymore. It's kind of evening up. But the, I can't imagine the Gosford is super keen to fight this. But I've lied. They actually are. They have used their Uber onto their demo man. They've cleaned up Chubbabub as well. So this is looking pretty good. The Ubers have come out from both ends now. It is looking a little bit better for HK. But Foose is onto Gronk. Fusa does go down, which gives Gronk the ability to sort of heal his players here. And they're cleaning up gamers in door one. It's so deep. Galactic's down very, very low. Falrail's in, trying to clean him up. This has given them exactly what they need. They've gotten a lot of damage. They're playing that point, and it's getting very, very close to being capped. Bub, the real only one fighting them there, and with Chubbabub spawning late, that is 2-4. Still the way of HK, but Gosford showing what they're made of. Yeah, absolutely turning it around on that second fight, getting really aggressive with the Uber and able to just win the DM fight there and uh, getting the the better kills overall. Yeah, Gosford really played that one well, coming straight on through. Coming into this one though, Galactic there once again very early. Felrail's very, very deep though, cleaning up the pack on their side and actually dying before she can get that pack. Snowball in very, very deep as well. And being down two here, it's not exactly what Gosford wants to see. HK playing this very, very well, taking that high ground and just playing it. They've cleaned up three now, four now, with no frags going the way of Gosford. This is looking really bad for them, but they do keep their medic up. There's bombs coming through, though. Galactic's in very, very deep, and they've bullied them all the way out of two as well. Yeah, Farrell just going a little too deep and not getting any damage done. But we see Chubbs come in and just almost get the second rocket onto Gronk, but he's on. Fortunately, just a little to the right and, and able to, to be dodged by Gronk. But yeah, Farrell going just a little bit too deep on that one um, and just not getting any damage out and unfortunately dying for for the play on mid. Yeah, Gosford kind of needs a miracle here, but uh, evening the Ubers up, definitely exactly what they want to see and they are going to go straight through lower. They're very keen. They haven't had to use yet and they're still there. They have to use very, very late. They are getting quite a bit of damage off, but it looks like HK is happy to just wrap them, go straight into last. They're having to chase straight through door one to try and stop this point. Chubbabub as spy on the point. He's capping it. Oh, it came so close. Bub, the only player left alive, and that is exactly what Gosford needs here. They're going to be able to recap two and start pushing this forward. Yeah, I think we'll see uh, not too much of an Uber ad. If, if Gosford can build it, we might have a slight Uber ad, but it looks like it will be pretty evens um but yeah we've got the getting aggressive already from nast in mid there on choke rather um but yeah it looks like to be gosford stabilizing on second and hk on coming towards their side of mid now yeah, gosford stabilizing is not really what they want with four minutes and 30 little seconds left on the clock foul rail coming through with a big old bomb getting a lot of damage on papa patui miz came through pretty aggressive in the choke there as well and they have cleaned up a few gamers with their gamers coming straight on through IT. They've cleaned up so many. Chubbabub's behind, though. He has been seen. He Buddy. cleans up Gronk! Man. Absolute rocket lord there. We oh, see shit. Snowball going in deep and getting a rocket on the Puff Patui, but unfortunately cratering for his valiant effort to try and nullify that Uber advantage that HK has now. HK pushing back out on the second here. Just got the numbers and the heal advantage. Gossip playing without any heals whatsoever. Miz looks to get up, gets a frag on Foos, but dies for it. And Pub and Gronk back out on a Miz. Farrell hiding behind in their sewer, but looks like Gronk might go down here again to a lovely shot from Bub. And Pub and Farrell stuck behind trying to salvage this situation. Pub gets the force out on the Uber on mid. Snowball jumps out, Pub gets the pack. Stays committed though, gets up onto height and just keeps them distracted. Getting plenty of shots out and doing so much damage. And he gets chubs for it as well. He's actually blocks the middle cap as well. Allows Gosu to come back in for free here. Hub doing so much damage, keeping them so distracted. And just Gosu can walk back through choke. It's definitely really good play out of Pub there, being able to block that middle for so, so long. 
giving them exactly what they need to be able to push through here. They're very deep. Foul Rail in very, very hard onto Papa Patui. As long with Snowball, they've cleaned up Papa Patui and Galactic, which is giving them exactly what they need to be able to push into last year. If they play this right, they could turn it around and then they only have to get one fast round. One round in a cup in a minute or so is very doable. They're playing this very, very slow though. They clean up Fusa on the point, but they've lost both of their scouts for it, which is not ideal. They have got their soldiers playing the so point. There's no one there to time. stop them. Ooh. Okay, 3-4. HK in the lead. Gosford can still bring this to a golden cap if they win this mid. At two minutes and 20 seconds, it's such, so doable for Gosford, but I think we'll see HK playing a very, very stable mid and kind of just trying to settle out the time here. Yeah, I can see that happening. The mid is looking fairly even so far. Nast and Galactic actually getting there fairly the same time. Nast taking a pipe though, which is really bad. Failrail getting in very, very deep. They are sort of clumped on that uh, sewer area, but they're getting the uh, the advantage here. HK fragging game is left, right, and center. Miz getting a frag with Nast as well, but going down for it. And with only Gronk and Nast left alive, Nast down very low, getting forward in this second area. Bub's in very, very deep. Nast actually cleans him up, which is so good for them. Galactic's deep as it gets, though, all the way into lobby. Their team only just capping that middle. This is looking dire for uh, Gosford. Gosford has to basically go through and cap every point as, as fast as possible here. It's really, really a, not an ideal situation from Gosford. As we see Farrell coming in, getting a nice rocket on the Papatui. Absolute rocket champ there, Farrell. She's Absolute god with the rockets. Miz cleaning up a kill there, but it looks like they're getting a back cap off from Chubbs and Fusa, and that'll take it to 5-3 there. Them taking the fight on second just allowed their flank to get through for free. Yeah, and I think that's going to bring us to dead time. 50 seconds left, that's barely enough for a mid. So I think HK has managed to take this, this first map. Yeah, I think it's pretty much over. Galactic comes in quite weak here. Farrow might be able to get a rocket off, but yeah, it looks almost over already. Um, they do get Papa Tui there, but losing two for it. And Pub might go down as well here, being chased around by Fusa and Vitro. But Fusa goes down, Miz committing back onto Vitro. Galactic bombing in deep, dying for it. Pub cleaning up on Vitro. Chubbs get able to get Gronk there and leaves them with Uber Ad, but losing the mid for it. Yeah, but uh, with seven seconds left, I think uh, it's kind of just uh, some mercy points, really, for uh, Gosford here, capping this one out on the middle, but uh, that is going to go the way of HK. Five to three, a two-round advantage. Close to my prediction on the on the four three, but um, yeah, it was a very dominant performance there from from hk just able to win most of the mids there and just take it all the way through on a lot of occasions yeah hold on i'm just getting these logs up for myself but i believe we have them up on the stream so what jumps out at me i mean obviously i'm gonna have to shout out to bub coming through with the biggest damage on the server with 261 deeps which is actually above both demos by uh at least 10 10 damage a minute i believe yeah which is uh, really big on soldier a, a very good effort from bub there um you know able to get a lot of those um playmaking moves and a lot of those crucial frags throughout the game yeah, another thing jumping out is definitely Chubbabub, 23 for 15, a KD of 1.5 for those of you counting at home. That's a lot of participation alongside Fusa with 22 for herself. Yeah, it's it's very, um, you know, it's very difficult sometimes for a soldier to, to maintain a, a positive uh, a KD, just performing all those sacks and not always getting the kills for it and losing your life for it, but Good on him for, you know, being able to convert on those sacks and clean up those kills. Yeah. Papa Patui showing uh, quite a lot of survivability with only seven deaths in the course of that. Uh, and also two frags. I believe they were both arrow kills. <laughs> two frags. Good on him. Yeah. It's definitely big. The heels look fairly even. Uh, Fusa not really getting very much, which is even more impressive when you think about the fact that he's got 22 frags. Yeah. He only got 9% of heels. Uh, a typical Gosford play, you see a lot of the heels pump, pumped into to Nas there. 
36%, and uh, Miz coming in at second with 22%. So um, lots of lots of heels played into to Nas, but, you know, the DPM's there to match it, so good on Gosford. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's definitely looking pretty even, though. Um, so Gosford really had a good chance with that one. I mean, that, that last round, like, I'm happy to call this one sort of like 3-4 in spirit. Um, I... I don't know. I think uh, given that that was HK's pick, Gosford really putting up a, a very solid fight. And we know that they're Gosford are pretty good on Metalworks. It's probably their strongest map. So do you think they have the ability to take this to the third map and bring it through for the win? I think Metalworks is Gosford's map to lose, in all honesty. They've got it's such a strong map with their, their experience. Um, and I think, you know, when they played last week on the, the, uh, the semifinals, we did see it go to Golden Cap, but... It was 4-1, and my team on Weezer was able to, to bring it back, but it was a very close match. I think Gosford just, you know, towards the end of the map there, got a little little slowed down. But I think on this, they've got the energy coming into grand finals. I think they'll be able to take this map. I think another thing I'd like to point out is Chubb got seven medic frags that game. Yeah. Chubb was putting in the work, man, just, like, doing everything he could to delete Gronk, uh, and it was definitely working for him. He managed to get in, like, very deep and just laser Gronk any chance he got, really. Yeah, very crucial plays there from Chubb. Able to... Uh, medic pick is the most valuable... One of the most valuable picks in nearly every situation, so able to, to pick up seven on your own back is a, a good achievement, and hats off to Chubb for that one. So... Coming into this, you have said it's Gosford's uh, map to lose, but what do you think the scoreline is likely to be? I think we'll see... I think I'll go 5-3 the other way this time. Um, we did. It was 2-1 last time, but I think played very stalemate-y, um, and it was very, uh, you know, very slow kind of game. I think Gosford coming off the... Uh, Coming off the uh, the slight loss there on process, want to pick the energy up and uh, put the foot to the floor and get ready to go. Yeah, and I mean, like I said earlier, I do feel like from watching Gosford play that they do tend to, I guess, tire. I think that's the best word for it, is that over time they seem to play just like, not necessarily weaker, but in a different way and a bit more lethargic with their pushing and stuff. I do wonder if uh, Metalworks is a, a map that that's going to be a really bad thing just with the way it flows. I think, yeah, we did see that last week in the semifinals, going from that 4-1 scoreline and then Team Weezer bringing three back to bring it to 4-4 four, four for Golden Cap. It's just a, another example of how, you know, Gosford can slow over the, the map's uh, time frame. Um, but if Gosford can be... Quick and fast to start it off, I think that they can maybe secure a big enough lead for for their future selves to slow down a bit. Uh, I can definitely see it, um, and I, I do hope that uh, Nast has a, a bit more uh, ability to get there, maybe a bit quicker than Galactic on this mid. Uh, Demo Man able to lock out players like really hard on Metalworks mid. Yeah, I think on this one we'll actually see Nast not running pipes to mid. A nice little. Uh, rollout strategy that he that he loves to do will be picking up the booties and running just booties and stickies give him that 200 health to run the mid the 300 overheal gets him there with 25 or more health than the other demo and it allows him to do a four jump sticky sorry a four sticky jump rollout to get to mid a couple of couple of seconds even before the other demo just doing a, a standard three sticky rollout man it's been a it's been a hot minute since i've actually seen the demo man run the booties to mid that used to be uh, semi-regular for a, for a minute there. Yeah, it's just a, a little tool that Nas likes to pull out of his toolbox, especially on the, the longer rollout maps like Metalworks here. Yeah. All right. Well, um, knowing that, I'm going to predict it to go Gosford's way, man. I, I reckon it's going to be probably... I, I reckon it'll be a low-scoring game. I think there'll be a lot of stalemates. Um, and HK does seem to sort of show their ability in those stalemates, but uh, I think it'll probably be like 3-1, maybe 3-2 to, uh, to Gosford. Yeah, I think I think it's that's a, a pretty good uh, estimation on what's going to happen here, but we'll have to, to see how it plays out in the, 
to the end. We've seen, we've seen one team ready up so far, so we're, we're just waiting on the other team, and I think it's all good, and you're ready to take us into this mid, Snazzy? Oh, mate, I will do my darndest. For anyone only recently tuning in, this is the Oz Fortress Season 29 Open Grand Finals, and they have baited me <laughs> spouting some garbage. Uh, run it back, Snazzy, <laughs> run it back. I'll run it back. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make the vod easier, you know, to edit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, for anyone who's just recently tuned in, this is the Oswaldra Season Twenty Nine Open Grand Finals. This is Map Two, HK versus Gosford. And coming into this mid, we do see Nast getting there a little bit slower. Galactic taking that lower area, trying to get some stickies off. He's gotten a lot of damage through Fail Rail, coming in very, very deep and early on a Papa Patui though, getting quite a bit of damage, but not really securing the frag. Chubbabub returning, cleaning up Nast and pushing out quite a lot of gamers through that uh, that lobby area. And with uh, Snowball going down on the, the flank there, I mean, that's the end. That's HK has to be. Yeah, pretty... Pretty quick mid there and relative things. The late bomb from Chubbs there, super powerful. Picking up Nast, the demo man, and uh, just basically confirming the mid for them. Um, and then even second, they're able to bully their way in for relative ease there. Yeah, I mean, being down your demo man is not what you, you want when you're trying to hold. So it's definitely near impossible for them to sort of block that. Uh, we do see Pub actually up on Sniper, so they're sort of committed to turtling this last and trying to get a frag. The oh lovely mini from Farrell and picks up the secure with another two rockets, but absolute dominance there from Farrell with those rockets. Yeah, Farrell hitting a, uh, a really fat mini on that one to clean up Chubba And uh, I'm interested to see if they try to push this one out a little bit. I uh, like I don't think we'll see too much of a push with that sniper. Peaking wide angle through shutter there from the, the left defensive side. And we see a spy coming out from Chubbs as well. So we'll have to see how the spy play comes through. Might see a spy under the, the sniper or, or even back under the medic there. Yeah, I mean... It's definitely just another sort of like stalemate. Fail Rail is pretty deep though, watching that main area. So I think that Fail Rail has called out the spy. So Chubba Bub is gonna really struggle to uh, to get himself in, uh, knowing that uh, Fail Rail has uh, sort of seen the spy. Um, I don't think Fail Rail knows exactly where Chubba Bub is, and Chubba Bub does manage to get through while close, which is pretty crazy. So. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But yeah, um, Chubb has managed to get straight on through. He's behind. Felrail's looking around, though. Uh, definitely the good play to make here. Because uh, you guys know that they're running spies, so they're just playing it super safe. Like, let's see if we can catch this person out before they try to get in and get the frag. Yeah, very paranoid play from the the um, Gosford team. As, as Pub gets a nice headshot off on the Galactic, and Chubb's is just... Hiding away, might get seen here, no, he did decloak for a second there and none of the Gosford saw him, but he's coming out here, and but, he, have they seen oh, him? he didn't <laughs> see him, someone bumped him and that was that was the end of the, the spy play, he got very close there, I think, um, I think he was a bit caught up on to who to, who to backstab, and just unfortunately took too long and was bumped and found out. Yeah, I did actually see the animation though of uh, his hand coming up, but Pub getting a fat frag on the Bub there, probably swapping off. I can imagine that this is gonna bring out the push. They are getting very, very deep. Fusa is very deep on the flank there though. Red using their Uber on that point pretty early as well. So this is looking like a weird, weird fight. Fusa getting Fail Rail, I believe. No, not Fusa, the other scout, I apologize. Cleaning up Fail Rail on the flank, and with Miz going down in the lobby area as well. It's kind of a flub push from uh, Gosford here. And they've got a really long spawn on Miz. Fail Rail coming up now, but the push is coming straight on through. HK very deep. Galactic's down very low in that main area though. Waiting for an arrow does manage to get one. There's all these players on HK down very low, but they have managed to get all the frags they need. Uh, They're able to play the point, feature, and it goes their way. Feature hiding in the corner there was able to, uh, to just secure the cap on, I think it was less than 20 health there. Yeah, I believe it was about like uh, 13 Harry Potters or something like that. Very low. 
Yeah, definitely a, uh, a very good push out of HK there, sort of able to capitalize on getting a couple frags, but coming into this mid, we see both of the demos get there roughly the same time. Nast a little bit slower, taking that lower route, but uh, we haven't seen all the damage come out from Galactic this time, which is going to put Gosford in a better spot with a fat midi on the bub, cleaning him up nice and early. Gronk does go down very low. Big rockets from Chubb, though, and they're able to keep their medic alive. Galactic going down very low, trying to get out, and does get cleaned up by Gronk, of all people, who's oh. able to clean him up. All the red the health. Move. All red health from uh, from Gosford there. They were playing the mid very weak, but able to secure the frags with a nice midi on to, to Bub to start it off. Yeah, definitely the way that they wanted that mid to sort of go. Maybe uh, maybe they wanted a bit more convincing, a bit less, uh, bit less damage to them. But they are able to collect second as well, so that's going to put them in a spot here where they're going to be able to push last, potentially. Just looks like they're, they're peeking around a bit. Snowball pretty deep into lobby as Vitro on 2 HP gets out, but they get Chubb on the left to main, taking the uber trade through on the two scouts, able to pick up one of the scouts who is very low, looks very positive for Gosford here, Farrow Rail playing cap time, spamming on the point, Bub very weak, goes down on the point, and they secure it in the chaos fight there from Gosford. A really good fight from Gosford, I think. I think they played that uber perfectly, cleaning up gamers left, right, and center, and then they were able to sort of like bring that in and take the ground that they needed and sort of ignore some of the players that didn't need to be fought. A really yeah. good mid uh, last out of them. <laughs> but coming into this mid, mid on the mine, man, it looks pretty even so far. Galactic taking quite a lot of damage from Pub, but he does get a big old pipe onto him to slow him down. Farrell getting in very deep, cleaned up by Fusa. This is not looking huge for Gosset anymore, but they do clean up the demo, man. Galactic going down. Nas dying on the point, though, which is going to put them in dire straits. Gronk dying as well, trying to get out. Both of the scouts rushing across onto him. Miz coming back in, though, cleaning up Chubb. It's only Papa Patui. If Miz can get this frag, which I believe he has within his grasp. Come on. Damage. Papa getting away <laughs> with one health, getting the back. Oh, he gets it. <laughs> he gets it with the sword. And Gosford are going to take this mid in the end. It will give them about 30 out, I believe, on this to uh, to get it going again. Um, but they, we should see the mid be taken and maybe even a, a very dry fight taken early into to second tier. Um, yeah. I'm still laughing about <laughs> the frag. <laughs> I can't even talk. He took his time. <laughs> it took his time. That said, Gosford has about a, uh, what's that, like, uh, it's, it's a very sizable advantage, let's say. And they're able to, uh, sort of convert that into the second, hopefully. Yeah, they've got about 15 seconds to, to make it work. Um, or otherwise they kind of nullify all of their, their well done by, uh, the Miz cleaning up the medic very late. Um, they are playing very passive inside house. We do see Nas coming forward, maybe looking for a use, but no. They're going to have to be very quick. We see Snowball going in very deep, getting a rocket on, and not able to secure the mini onto Papa Patui, and able to get back out of shutter Papa Patui is, and they lose their ad for it. I can't even imagine sacking with, like, 60 ad. Yeah, it was very, very odd play coming out from Gosford there. Knowing they had the ad, just, I think, maybe trying to to convert something a bit more, but where it wasn't really necessary. It's definitely a very passive style of play that we're seeing right now. I think they're kind of scared of like pushing through that connector, knowing how easy it is to get force coming out of house there. Yeah, as we do see the Miz Spy once again, third time this set of matches, um, we can see what the Spy does on the side of Gosford now. And you were gassing Miz up, like, real early as well. So, uh, hopefully this time it's going to be the med drop or something. Being on the receiving end of Miz, I can tell you it's not fun in scrims. He's, uh, yeah, a man of the, <laughs> the cloak and dagger and knife. Although he's looking like he's going to come out shutter gear, which is an odd decision to make. Letting them know that you're there, but no, rot rot rotating, crouch walking back through lobby there. As we just see a, a kind of stalemate fight from the uh, the two teams. Yeah, I do think that HK probably has a vague idea here because they are checking behind them fairly regularly. Miz still back there, just waiting for the right opportunity. 
coming mm. around to that shutter again though, like you said, it's a bit dangerous. The shutter does open and Miz has been seen. He gets yeah. very close to Papa Patui, but not quite close enough to get the backstab. I mean, I'm sure all these gamers have got their volume up, so the second you hear the uh, the shutter open and no one's behind you, it's a bit of a, a question mark in your own brain on what's going on, why is this shutter opening, and, uh, and yeah, it kind of just gives you away there. Yeah, D clocks can be pretty loud as well, so definitely mm. something to keep an eye <laughs> on. Um, he's actually coming back up on Spy. Dude, nah, he's it's changed my favorite play. <laughs> oh, he has? Damn. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> he does. Double baited. <laughs> Dude, this is my absolute favorite play because no one ever expects you to do it twice because it sucks. It sucks. So they don't expect it. It's such it's a so silly idea, but yeah. It might just work. Yeah, I mean, our producer's screaming the sideshow meta, the sideshow meta, so I think I have to say it at this point. It's the sideshow meta! <laughs> Taking a different route this time, op uh, opting to, uh, to stand near bridge here, um, and maybe getting the decloak off back a bit later, back a bit earlier, sorry, before the shutter, hiding behind the little pipe here. But it looks like they might be paranoid again. I think he's in a pretty good spot. He's trying to get himself uh, uh, into a decent spot, the D-Cloak. And uh, they're just sort of stalemating the fight. Miz is in very deep. He cleans up the Demo Man this time. Very good. This is what they need to get this push. He does die for it. But with Nas being able to get all that damage off that no one's able to return, it's looking very good. The Uber does come through. They're able to push straight into second. The Uber, counter Uber, has come on straight through from HK. And they're sort of looking like they're going to be able to contain this. They've cleaned up Nas. They've cleaned up Gronk. This is actually looking more like a, a thrashing than a containing. And uh, they've sort of wiped them. So I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, using a bit early, I think, coming back through house there from... Uh, Gosford and just uh, Papatui milking it to I think 15 health or so before he popped um, and just able to get a way better Uber as a result of it. Uh, HK coming on to second here with no competition at all as Gosford opting to uh, to just build and play some off classes on last year. I, I do actually think that this is the best play for Gosford to make here. Um, they don't want to squander like the, the evenness of the match so far by trying to like half hold second, but with Pub getting a fat frag onto Bub straight through the flank there into that lobby area, that should delay the push just long enough, I think. Bell is on NG as well. So another shot from Pub there, it's two headshots. They get the a really early force out as Pubatui comes in really late, leaving Galactic with no Uber. And very, very poor Uber there coming through the right side and Galactic going down for it. Yeah. But things aren't looking huge for uh, Gosford here. Bub behind getting the drop onto Gronk as they pushed on through. They did lose a couple players as well. Bub also cleaning up Miz. And with uh, Nas going down on second there, it's looking pretty bad. The NG is still there, though. The Sentry is there. They're going to be able to clean up one of the scouts, get a lot of damage onto the other one on the point. Papa Patui taking a lot of damage as well. Fusa going down on the point. Chubba Bub fighting on last there, down very low. Galactic dying. Papa Patui trying to get out through main. Going down as well. Fail Rail coming in clutch on Engineer. I think it was bugged out on our end. It looked like Faure was carrying around a century gun. <laughs> yeah, I think it was on the, the stream as well. It just looked like Faure was a walking century gun on that one. <laughs> uh, classic classic source engine, random bugs on that one. I've honestly um, an never interesting, seen that one before. Interesting sight to be seen. <laughs> um. I will say that on my screen, the gun was down, like, the whole time. It was just sitting under the bridge. Yeah. So. Yeah, I saw the gun in lobby or something, and I was like, uh, I thought she came off Engie to do soldier, and then she was carrying the gun around. No, I've got no idea. <laughs> it's wild. Source engine, man. But... This is what Gronk and his team here need with their tiny bit of ad here. I don't think they're going to be able to push it super aggressively, but they are getting pretty keen in this alleyway through here now. Scout onto them very, very early though, getting the Force Fusa, getting quite a lot of damage on there. And Nas going down a little bit too eager, I think, on the fight. 
but the Uber has come out from HK. It is looking okay for Gosford here. They have more players up. They have lost quite a lot of ground though, and they're all very low. They clean up Galactic, which is one of the main damage dealers. Papa Patui going down as well. Three players on him, and we see uh, whoever this scout is. You're still, uh, you're still fake me, so I can't actually shout you out. Uh, I believe it's Vetro. Vetro, yeah. yeah. Um, I, uh, I so, hate fake niggas. I want to shoot them all. <laughs> so a little, a little Gosford lore, but Pub and Miz are actually IRL brothers. So we see the the scout synergy between them. Their their telepathic communication, just absolutely able to. Absolutely able to, to clean up. <laughs> They're definitely able to clean up. And, uh, I don't know, we'll just, uh, just have to see how this one's gonna go. It's fairly even at the moment, and, uh, I'm interested to see if Gosford wants to sort of exploit the flank like they were doing earlier. Yeah, but, we, uh, we see three of the, the Gosford players look like they're rotating towards this alleyway. Um, but no, we see Farrell going back towards house and just the spam war continuing in alley. Uh, and Snowball comes across, but we we'll wait to see what happens here. They look like they're both hiding on top of the little shutter in between Alley and Valley. And nice spam from Snowball, able to pick up Bub. Absolutely midied there from... Pub got midied by Chubb there and just able to neutralize that flank fight. Yeah, definitely a very good midi from Chubb there. Able to sort of delete that ability to push there. The Uber comes straight through the alleyway though. And it's not looking great for Gosford here. They do clean up one of the scouts, but it's a trade, so it's kind of bad for... It's a better Uber for HK, and they're in very deep on Nast with no real uh, fighting going on for them. They haven't managed to secure that frag, though, so it does look like Gosford might be able to hold this. Big old bomb coming straight through from Chubba Bub. But with Failrail cleaning up Bub behind and Pub getting in very, very deep into that lobby area... Oh, man. Chubb went down very low. Uh, unfortunately, from the Farrell bomb late, but we do see them come in to fight. Um, but Gronk just not able to beam both of his members. He's scouting his demo, and unfortunately, the, the flub push again from the dry fight onto second. Just unfortunate. Uh, they do have someone capping on the back cap there. It's Snowball. He has cleaned up Bub, and he almost had it, but uh, not quite. He does end up going down to Chubb. So, with uh, Farrell getting in very deep, very, very low on Papa Patui. Miz is in, trying to get that death or the force or something. Papa with his balls of steel just holding his Uber. Uh, it's looking very good for HK being able to take this round. Yeah, Papa Patui just had that ability to milk so long in all of these Uber fights. As we do see an early Uber come out from HK, but it's too little too late for Gosford here as we see the fight and the, just the two scouts on cap time just able to 4x that all the way to the, the round's end. Yeah, a pretty good push out of HK just coming off the back of a flub push, man. It's really all it takes in this game. But coming into this next mid, we'll have to see if Gosford is turning the energy up with 12 minutes remaining to uh, bring this map back around into their favor. Their demo man is getting there at roughly the same time as Galactic and the damage is coming straight on through on both teams. It's looking like a bit better control from Gosford here. Failrail getting up on top of that point, but with Chubb and Bub both getting in deep onto Gronk, it's causing a bit of a ruckus. Failrail does return with a bit of a fat bomb directly onto the uh, crates there, but it's not really able to achieve anything. And with Miss and Snowball going down very, very quickly, it's looking bad for Gronk as he runs away from Galactic here. It does look like he was taking the fight, but he ends up losing it and Pub going down as well after cleaning up Chubb. It's looking pretty bad for Gosford. Yeah, not much to do there if you're Gronk. You've got a 1v1 with a demo man as Medic. It's it's do or die, really. He had to try and commit and try and play the Hail Mary, but couldn't get it off. Yeah, he was uh, he was very close to being able to take it though. I believe Galactic was down to like forty health, which would have been like one bow or one sword. Just needed to plus forward and, and go. As we see the Uber come out, we do get one scout dropped in the Uber from a nice trap from Nas. The demo Galactic coming across, spamming across the back of point. Pub coming in forward. The brass base heavy from Miz just absolutely spraying out damage, able to deny all the bombers and a nice rocket from Snowball, clearing off their exit. As you see Pub commit onto Galactic and securing that kill and Gosford able to move forward on a nice defense there. 
Definitely a really good defense, and they should be able to clean up Papa Patui here as well, but he is running for his life, and I think he'll get away with it. Farrell in very deep jump with a fat mini, and then the shotgun to clean it up! Shotgun Holy pocket? Shit. Where has this come from? What the fuck? This is, uh, this is definitely some interesting gameplay. Chubb absolutely deleting Farrell there mid-air. That was huge. <laughs> Not often we see a nice midi into a, a shotgun pocket anymore with the, the meta si switching towards both soldiers using gunboats now to give them that, that bombing ability and especially on such a soldier dominated map as we do see Gosford getting quite aggressive here ready to take the uber trade it comes out on Nas seems to be solo so far Papa Batui flashing a bit Gronk getting buffed around we see two kills come out on Bob and Fusa able to clean up Galactic as well mid fight from Nas this looks very positive for Gosford here, getting another kill onto Vitro. Farrell bombing deep, able to clean up the medic, a nice bomb. And Chubbs just going down to the two scouts. Very good outcome for Gosford on that refight in the mid. About as good as it could possibly be. The only thing that is unfortunate for them is because they waited to uh, to cap that mid, we did see some players get forward spawns, but it's not going to make any impact. They do end up back spawning. But, uh, man, with this big, big advantage, I think that uh, Gossard might be able to turn this back into an even game. Yeah, hopefully we don't see any random sacks come in from Gosford again, just giving away their Uber ad. I, I think they've recognised it. They're trying to build it out and getting buffs now, moving into position, moving from the right to main shutter or left to main, however you call it, get a nice early use. Nas jumping in deep, getting some nice stickies out. There's a gun underneath the point going down. Doesn't look too good so far. Nas going down in the Uber Miz as well. We're getting plenty of capped on from Farrell here. Pub on very weak health. Snowball jumping in, not able to get anything. And just clean, secure kills and Gronk going down in the end of the Uber there. Yo, Bub just pogoed off of the kill from Pub to land on Gronk's head and kill him as well. That was huge. Wild, wild jump there, just able to secure two kills and two rockets. And doing a jump map while in the process. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it was like the most jump beef thing I think I've ever seen, dude. He just deleted those two guys. But um, we do see uh, a big advantage on the HK, and they're pretty keen to push this through the alleyway. They haven't been forced in the same way, I lied to you. They have been forced in the same way that we've been seeing happen to Gosford this entire time. Gosford are able to get away with pretty much all of their gamers. They actually clean up one of the uh, scouts as well, despite losing Snowball on the backside there. This is looking okay for Gosford once again. Yeah, hopefully Gosford can get a, a good Uber out and, and HK from them. They're looking for a nice early force and uh, just to, to stuff this Uber once again, just like what happened to them really. Yeah, it is looking very good for them, and they're actually pretty keen to push this, it looks like. Coming through that lower area, directly into the valley. They're able to get straight on through without getting forced too early. This is looking pretty good for them. They have actually gotten themselves onto mid, and it looks like they're happy to just cap this bub in with a big old bomb. He gets the force. Very unfortunate for Gosford. And uh, I don't think they're going to be able to push this through the connectors into second. It's such a bad map to try that on. Yeah, just no opportunity to really to really push that through. Such a long corridor, and it's really able to be spammed out and juggled around to prevent you from able actually pushing in. So you see Snowball come in really deep, get the nice force off there. Farrell jumping in as well. Not super necessary. Gronk very deep though. On the point, really. Caught out with no one to help him out. He gets looks to be getting out. The rock coming in. Gets the dodge, but unfortunately can't survive it. Miz cleaning up on Bob the Bomber there, but able to get the cap overall. Unfortunately for HK here, Papa 2 has got no one to heal, so the Uber isn't, advantage isn't massive. Looks to be maybe 10, 15%. Yeah, that was so unfortunate. I think Gronk and his team were pretty keen to just like play the point in the middle of that fight, but uh, they just weren't able to connect with each other properly and Bob able to just sort of like laser focus onto, uh, onto Gronk there and clean him up. The Uber ad isn't huge, like you said, it's probably about, uh, I think that's 20 odd, but um, I don't I don't know how this one's going to go. I think Gosford has got this where they need it, being able to sort of like throw things at the wall and see what sticks at this last, because eventually something has to work unless they flub it badly. 
If you're Gosford here, what do you what do you think? And do we take it? Do you take it to uh, the golden cap? Just play it out, or do you try and secure this round really quick and then just go for another one? I think you'd go for the uh, number five combo deal. I think you would try to uh, push it through uh, nice and early here. Once you've got your Uber, if you can get some sort of frag, just try to go for the push. Um, but do your very best not to flub it, so that that way you can potentially like hold them out of a second. Um, it's it's going to be important how they play this Uber, but they are in very, very deep. Miz actually coming straight on through and cleaning up Chubb, which might be the frag they need to push this, hey? Yeah, taking that 5v6 on an Uber ad, it's always better for the more favorable team with numbers, but uh have to see. doesn't look like they're moving into a position too early. Oh, no, I do say that, and they look to be taking a solo fight through Shutter here, trying to just solo it on Pub, get the, get the force out. Bub secures a kill on the flank here, turning it back in the favor of HK and able to rock it onto Gronk again. And Gronk dying post Uber to a lovely rocket from Bub there as HK gets very aggressive now, able for that, that got that ability to push back out onto second with uh, no resistance now. I, I mean, that was absolutely awful from Gosford. They got that frag, but they didn't heal any of their players up before they went in with, for the big solo. It might have been like a uh, go in, force the Uber, get out and grind like crazy sort of job. But I think just losing players because they're low in the middle of that just puts them on the back foot. You see Miz on Spy though. An unexpected is, uh, Spy play. It's going to be pretty good. And a big old trap from Nas to clean up Chubb as well, which is really fat. Miz is in pretty deep in the middle of a sack from Failrail though. Miz has been seen, I think, but he cleans up Galact. Fusa and his other scout going down at the same time as well. This is looking great for Gosford. Despite the disad, Snowball's in very, very deep behind. He's on to Papa Fatui. One oh. rocket, two rockets for the frag. He gets one on a bub as well, which is going to put him a little bit low, which uh, is going to mean that he gets cleaned up. And this is looking very good. 95% Uber on, uh, on Papa Fatui when he died there. Very unfortunate for, uh, for Papa Fatui. He's unable to get out of that. Lovely rocket from Snowball. We do see the Uber come out. Nas jumping very deep, getting a few stickies on the Fusa. Cap time being played by Pub here. Unfortunately, gets a flash. But we can't see the kills really being secured from Gosford here. Stickies on point coming from Nas, but they've lost really their positioning. They have no soldiers in to help, and Gronk goes down. Once again, Galactic gets some nice stickies out, and they flub an 80% Uber ad push. It was 80% Uberad and the med down. The only saving grace is that they cleaned up one of the scouts there and their spawns are pretty like well cycled. So it's only a 50% disad, which is not a word, a sentence that I intended to ever say. Only a 50% disad. <laughs> but um, it puts them in a spot where they can definitely still get some sort of decent push off here. If they're able to get Papa Tui here or even Galactic, I think either of those frags would put them in a spot where they could take this back to the last there and try to get another push off. Yeah, it looks like they are getting aggressive here from Balcony. Papa Batui just beaming his medics across, get beaming his scout and demo across. Chubb's getting a little too deep there, but unfortunately Pub gets the kill and then dies for it, as well as Snowball dying for the the secure. Farrell getting out very weak, 26 health, backing out through Alley, and they've won the mid for a dry fight there, not having to use their Uber. I mean, I think Gosford played that okay though. Yeah, they lost two players for it, which is not what they need. Not at all. But they have managed to secure even Ubers here, but the push is coming straight on through. A big bomb from Fail Rail to be able to force Papa Batu. The Ubers get used at roughly the same time, but it is looking pretty good for Gosford here. They've cleaned up most of the gamers that they need to, including Galactic. Papa Patui down very low, caught in that alley area. Snowball getting the frag for that one. Fusa, the only gamer left alive, and with 1 minute and 10 seconds left on the clock, this is crucial for Gosford here. Fusa, if he's able to clean up Gronk here, that's it, man. Uh, yeah, has to has to just be a roll through. They do get the forward. Snowball, un, I Too didn't aggressive. think he was expecting Too aggressive. it. Very aggressive. They have to play aggressive, though, to, to get it off, uh, to get it done in the, the last 50 seconds now. The Chubbs in the forwards on Angie with the pumps and an odd choice of weapon. No, it's but good. He's trying to reduce the Uber. 75%. Oh, true. Absolutely true. We do see 85% now for Gronk. They have to take it. 
have to take it in. They have to get a secure Uber and they just have to play cap time. This is their only opportunity to do it. We see them split up though. Their scouts both go left without the medic. The medic goes right, but then they come through. Beam scouts, scouts have to clean up frags. Get a nice bomb in from Snowball. They need to be playing cap time here, but it's not happening. Or we get the, get the cap time, only 15 left. Rockets coming out from Snowball, Rockets coming out from Farrell, not securing it, Pub going out, Snowball, Snowball. Left, it's only all one on left Snowball. alive, it's six, 5 seconds remaining, and that looks like it is game, set, and match in the way of HK, they take the grand final, they take the open season, congratulations to HK on the well-deserved win. Yeah man, that was huge. Gosford nearly, nearly had that, but HK were just able to play a little bit more level-headed and focus their fire to actually get the frags that they needed. Uh, man, and Nast, unfortunately, I think he, he died on rollout. It was like right at the start of that fight, which is very, very, very bad when you're trying to push last as your last sort of like major push. But man, well, well played from HK. We'll have a quick look at these logs and then I think we might jump into some, some quick interviews. Sounds good. Let me just pull these logs up. I'm doing the exact same thing. I was hoping you, <laughs> you could talk while I did it. <laughs> I've got them open myself. Man, Galactic, 288 deeps. That is a full, like, 1,700 more damage than, like, anyone else in the server. Definitely putting the work in there. Yeah, taking taking the team on his shoulders, just absolutely pounding out the damage and able to, to secure a lot of a lot of space and denial with those stickies and, and securing some kills as well for the for the work. Absolutely. We do see Vetro and Pub coming through with pretty much the same score line, 21 for 13 apiece, 1.6 KD. Uh, Fusa coming through with 20 for 12 as well. Oh man, it, it's like the scouts sort of rocketed to the, the top of this, this scoreboard. Miz actually come through with 18 for 12 as well. So it's all respectable games from them. Yeah, Farrell having another good game as well. Um, just being able to, you know, get out the damage as well, making a lot of space and, and getting those clean bombs and forces in. They're really well done as well from Farrell. She did a good, great job. Absolutely. Most deaths on the server are actually going, uh, the two top spots coming through for both of the soldiers on HK, Bub and then Chubb, uh, 20 and 19 respectively. You can sort of see like the, the amount of effort they were putting into like everything they were doing throughout that map to just get in and get the damage. It doesn't matter if I die, get in, get the damage, which is great. That's exactly how you should play soldier. Yeah, really, really well done from, from all of the soldiers in such a heavily dominated map. Uh, Metalworks for, for Soldier, and they, they all did a great job. Yeah, definitely big stuff. Looking at the med stats, I mean, there's really not that much to talk about. Nas did get 32% heals, which is a little high, but really not that ridiculous when you look at the rest of the, the spread. And an unfortunate drop as well there for, uh, for Gronk, not able to, to keep his Uber. Yeah, we do actually... One thing that I, I do want to note, um, the, the Uber links, like the average Uber links for... Um, Gosford here have all been a little bit less than um, they have been for HK. So I think HK is probably, I think Papa Patui is a bit more eager to make sure that his Uber is like good and, and doesn't flash too much. Cause we did see a lot of flashes from Gosford in a lot of their Ubers. And uh, despite that still sort of like some players going down in the middle of the Uber. So I don't know, maybe they're all too close to each other or something, but uh, we'll see what happened. Yeah, so um, Bub getting five kills on the Medic as well. Um, once again, a very nice uh, game from a, a Gosford, uh, sorry, not a Gosford, a HK soldier able to secure lots of Medic frags. Yeah. So, coming into the interviews, we have Gronk, Snaz, and uh, Schnobel. Fellas, it was, uh, it was hard fought, but uh, an unfortunate loss for you guys. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, what do you do? It was close. On the but... night, you uh, you show up or you shut up, and we didn't show up, so. Such is life. Yeah. Bro. Oh, they want to use Discord for interviews? What, what the fuck do you mean? That's, uh, <laughs> that's a darn <laughs> shame for any, them, fellas. Any Zoomers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Zoomer, and I learned this. 
Oh, yeah, if you really uh, want someone, to. If someone can invite me to that, sure. I'm really not that <laughs> eager to uh, have to migrate to Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck How is it. it that every other team in the entire league is able to... I don't know, man. I don't, I don't care. You guys tell me what, what's going to happen. All right, let's sort out the Discord. Capping TV Discord? Wow. Yeah, can someone send me a string to that? I, nah, I don't think I have it, so... One sec, I'll, I'll send it to you, Snopes. All right, we'll, uh, we'll just keep talking some garbage. Either way, it was, uh, it was a very good game. <laughs> oh, yeah? I almost fucking tore my, uh, my pocket scout's head off, but yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, that well, was... That's what you get. That was some emotion, but uh, we played the best we could, I suppose. Oh, I don't know if it's emotion. I just love to scream. Bert will tell you that. <laughs> a couple it's of important months. to let these emotions out, though. Um, which channel am I joining on this server? Uh, I don't know, bro. Oh, right, I'll join one, six is. All right. We'll, uh, we'll migrate across and then we'll see how we go. Right. I think... I think that people can hear me. And I believe we have some players from both teams now. We have yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. Wow, Medics. Pop. You, said my, you said my name right. I'm so proud. Well, I've been saying it right, mate. Can, can the Medics <laughs> test for a get... second? No, get I believe we oh have uh, Galactic Core as well. Yeah. And, uh, I'm, I'm not really sure on you down at the bottom there, mate, because uh, uh. they nicked. <laughs> Memories and oh, yeah. others oh. trying to sneak in. Very funny. Yeah, they're trying to get... Oh, oh no! no. Do, not, do not oh, let them in, no matter what you do. Do not get them in here. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who the guy who renamed to Galactic was called. <laughs> no, I can't tell. Hey, congratulations, guys! Good, good season. It was, it was a yes. fun time. I, I have enjoyed this entire fucking. I, I I'm gonna go on a spiritual run here. It has been a, it has been a journey. These. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've never been so fucking scared of a soldier in my life. Holy <laughs> shit. It, it, it was nice uh, kissing you uh, in between realms. It was fun. Dude, that was the most calming part of my entire life. <laughs> no, just kind of backing up to each other as medics, the true ritual. Can I do a quick medic on medic interview here? Are your nerves fucking shot after the season? I, I, like, I, I got to sleep it up with the fucking jitters, man. It's fucked. I, I was really <laughs> on nerves from your guys' spy because after playing you guys last time, your spy dropped me like two times <laughs> last game last week. So this time I was looking behind my back even like throughout the entirety of the game. The worst thing, off. he fucking loves it too. We'll be like... <laughs> We'll be pushing off like fucking second, and he'll be like, "Oh yeah, time to go spy." We absolutely fiends it. <laughs> so, I do have like a couple quick questions um, for the for the Gosford fellas. What went wrong with some of your pushes? Were you guys like sort of not focusing your fire a little bit because it seemed like things just weren't going your way? We are notorious think- as a team for like. Hearing the call, acknowledging the call, and then not doing what was said on the call. Like, it is the absolute pain of our main caller, our demo man. And he will be like, yeah, guys, we're all going valley. And everybody will be like, yeah, yeah, we're going valley. And then, like, three of us will just, like, walk across the bridge and be like, where's the medic? And I'll be like, ah! Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's an, it's an in one yeah, sort of mentality. I sometimes I mean, have that yeah. as as well. Just like someone says, "Okay, guys, we're going IT," and I'm like, "Wait, does that mean the entire team? What does that mean? The flank? Does that mean me? What yeah. do I do? Oh shit, we're going IT. Oh no, we're like, oh, two players dropped. Ah, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> fuck." I remember there was one of our pushes on um, Middleworks. We're just like, um, we were going to use and and then two of our players died, and then I Ubered in Galactic, and I was like, wait, we need to get out, and Galactic was like, <laughs> no, I frag. Oh, <laughs> dude, my demo man does that too. <laughs> oh, Please, God, get me out of here. No, no, I shoot pipe. <laughs> All right, I, I, okay. Okay, so definite similarities between the teams. Speaking <laughs> of Galactic, some yeah? fat mids out of you, bro. You were getting there real early. Getting a lot of mana drop. How many times have you practiced your rollouts? How many hours have you sunk into that? 1,000 oh, hours at least. Listen, it's not like the hours I put into rollouts. It's not like the hours I put into jump maps, dude. I used to grind that stuff so much. I mean, the thing is, I think I got good at the rollouts just because 
I was grinding the caddis roll out, but I never did it because it was too inconsistent. But oh, also, uh, uh, how about get a Chubbs and Harry's L boy? He's also yeah, Chubbs not in here. Why is Chubbs yeah. not in here, bro? What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make, sure yeah. make sure you don't. Make sure you don't get fucking the other two. <laughs> right, I yeah. shifted Chubbs on in just in time because I was gonna say Chubbs oh. and Bub. Very, very fat bombs out of you two. So yeah, big yeah. ones to regulate. I'm gonna wipe the shit out of my undies. We went fat, fat didn't we? Fucking hell! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. each map, each map, yeah. you boys both secured the most medic frags. So very valuable plays from you two all around. Well done. Yeah, we had trouble like coordinating between ourselves at the start, but mm. as we got on, oh, no, I... hello, hello. We adapted to Rome. Bro, my demo got tenfold just because of all. Ah, oh, what's going on, guys? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no! Oh, he just took the bait. Oh, oh no, he's out. Oh, oh thank God. God! He got so no. excited. Okay, <laughs> I, I honestly, oh, guy. I, okay, okay. Let's let's think of saying we will let him in, but the moment he starts trash talking, son, we instantly kick him out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it only I'm seems so what he has to do in the interviews, but I uh, think. Wait, he's, I think he's banned from capping TV, as you know. <laughs> Sorry, the, the, okay, the, fair point. Sorry, shout the, out to the toxic, gave... toxic mentors yeah. who got banned. Guys, I'm not gonna yeah. lie, our team was so scared. Not a shout out just yet, but uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we, let's keep this as an interview, guys. Let's just sort of ramble at the moment. Yeah, so. Sir. Oh. Just a couple other questions before we'll just wrap it on up, I think. But uh, I believe Galactic, you're the you're the captain for HK. Is it um, continuing into oh. next season? Are you shooting to the top of intermediate? What's your plan? Okay, um, probably not inter. That we can only get into if we cut people and get better. But we're probably gonna go main, honestly. And technically, I'm not the captain. I just do everything. But you? sure, I'm the captain. But I mean, the Vetro, is, Vetro is the guy who made the whole thing, but like, oh, really? I, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I kind of took the rain. I kind of took the rain. <laughs> Can I slide but... in and ask why the fuck you didn't mention this to me like five weeks ago when I tried to organize? No, it, it was only really like <laughs> no. three days yeah. ago that, I, that someone said Vetro the captain. I was like, he's the captain? What? <laughs> yeah, no, everyone thinks I'm the captain, but I'm, I'm technically I'm not really the captain. It's because you're fine. the one to organize all the scrums. Yeah. A bit of extra so, yeah. lore. But okay, go on yeah. to the main. That sounds like, good, and uh, yeah. I know the, the Gosford boys, you guys never die, do you? Oh, I mean, we come back in iterations over the years, you know? As long as Team Fortress has got beers and bongs, I'm sure we'll be around. I'm retiring. Oh, oh, he's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's like a venereal disease. He simply cannot get rid of it, can Snowball's, he? Snowball's discovered the joys of women and now has to retire from the team, so... No, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, you do yeah. what Cindy did, you, you give up the touch of a woman. It's worth it. Uh, I think that's all the questions I've got, unless you, you have enough. The, the premiere question of Are we actually from Gosford? I don't need to ask, mate. Oh. Yeah. You must be, otherwise, you wouldn't make your team name that. Oh, you never know. <laughs> have you got any I... uh, specific questions, Berta? Yeah, nothing from me. Um, yeah. Shout I mean, we might change our name from HK to Goyams. <laughs> Ooh, similarly uh, cringe. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good name, bro. Right? <laughs> Let's do some shout outs. Everyone else, if it's not your turn, just shut your fucking mouth. So uh, we'll go down from the top. Bub, mate, you're the first alphabetically. What do you have? Shout outs for me. Um, you know, maybe toxic, but we've got to shout out our mentors, those are memories. Like, you may all hate them, but I'm telling you, without them, there would have been people in this team that, you know, were anchoring and they helped us win. If it weren't for us and memories, I think we would have, this team would have came like mid to last open. So, yeah, shout out to that. Well, yeah, but we would have. Hate's probably a strong term. <laughs> but uh, I'll go next on down to Chubbs. What you got, maybe? Well, uh, shout out, shout out first of all to Galactic and Vetro for organizing the team. I jumped on halfway through the season. It's been very fun so far. Uh, shout out to Galactic too for just organizing Yay. all the scrims. And of course, our mentors, even though they gave us the worst name in open, they did do their job and carry us here. Uh, shout out to all my real life friends who are watching right now. Yeah, chat. Very nerdy, very nerdy. Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you. It's juicy stuff. All right, Galactic, mate, you got anything? 
Bro, holy crap. Oz, dude, my demo was so bad. Like, we used to have Sky and Drip, but then they kind of, I don't know, they kind of, like, left. But when we got Oz and Memories as our mentors, my, our team, and me especially as demo, because Oz mains demo, we, our school just went up, like, tenfold. And they, like, without them, we probably, not last, but, like, maybe we probably would have lost to Weezer and Milady without them. So, yeah, that's the one I want to shout out. That's pretty sweet. I, I love the, 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 the rallying around the homies that's going on here. Um, next on down, Papa Patui, you got much for me? Uh, hi. No, no, let's see. <laughs> um... Oh, no. Your boyfriend, your boyfriend. <laughs> I should get him in here. No, um, honestly, uh, I don't know. I've really enjoyed because this is really my first season of sorts. Like, I was with like Yellow's team and all that last time, but then I got booted out. It was really sad. But now, like, I'm here. We won fucking open, and I don't know. It's pretty. I'm tearing up, bro. It's pretty fun. I don't know. I enjoyed it. It's cool. Sweet. That's about it. Yeah. All right. Next on down, Snaz, mate. You got much for me? Oh yeah, I got a, and I got an absolute list here. Uh, he's Snow got was, the list. I Snow was a silent <laughs> partner because he only had much to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shout out the whole fucking team, all of the From Gosford boys. Uh, shout out Jason who came on as our fucking sub like five weeks into it because you know Pub got a job, I had to go stack shelves half the time. Uh, shout out Mio and Smithsonian, the big fucking fellas, giving us some coaching tips, even though Mio's is mostly just whinging into the mic and Smithsonian's asleep half the time. And uh, shout out the Weezer boys, screaming us week in, week out. And last but not least, shout out my partner for fucking putting up with me screaming at my computer at the age of 25 for the last 10, 20 weeks now. <laughs> She's fucking over it. She's so happy the season's done. I'm telling you. <laughs> she uh, she can get together with my missus. Snowball, you got, uh, you got anything? Done yet? Snowball got any shout Shout out to the pub experience. Shout out to all the folks watching at home. Shout out to the missus. Shout out to Carlton United Breweries. And rest in pieces. Sweet stuff. And uh, I, I'm, I honestly have no idea who you are. Ultimate Mole. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, mate. Yeah, champ. All right. Oh, I mean, Galactic in the same room as me. So, <laughs> anyway, I wish I had. Um, the original mentors of HK, um, you probably don't know, but it was actually Sky and Dip. And oh dear. Without, without them, we probably wouldn't have Oz and Memories as our mentors because they wanted to like replace them. So I would also shout out Oz and Memories. So. Oh, yeah, thanks, Mia, for the comment. That's very nice. Anyway. Yeah, champ. Yeah, champ. <laughs> Stop. Well, I don't, don't want to say let's go. <laughs> Rest I, in think peace. He, I think he cut out there. Uh, so, uh, last but not least, we'll uh, we'll do Vetro, mate. You got yes. uh, you got anything to shout out? Okay. Um. So first, I'd like to I like I like to thank Pepper Jack. Um. You don't know him. He started. He was at the start of the season, but he was actually the original owner. But he he couldn't commit, so uh, we had to drop him. Sadly. Uh. And then. I'd like to thank Sky and Dip and Oz and Memories. They've been the best to us, especially uh, Memories and um, Oz. <laughs> they've just been we. They made us put in the work, and I think like they support us us all the way through. And I'd like to thank the team. That's about it. Sweet stuff. All right. Well. Uh... I suppose we'll go down the, the list of us and uh, I'll let Birdo do any, any shout-outs that he has, first and foremost. Um, first and foremost, shout-out to my partner, watching every Twitch stream and even the, the casts and stuff. Um, uh, thank you so much for supporting and all that, and as well my mum and dad for watching all the casts and stuff like that. Um, shout-out to the Weezer boys, my team for Open, great season. Unlucky to not make it to the grand finals, but... Had a good had a good hack at it and, and well done. Be happy with third. Um, a shout out to everyone watching today. Um, thanks, guys and girls, for watching and supporting uh, Australian TF2. Um, really appreciate it from everyone here. And um, shout out to my housemates that have to deal with me yelling and screaming every night. <laughs> Definitely makes sense. Mitch, did you have anything? Can they hear you? Uh, 
Uh, I don't think Mitch has anything specific other than uh, capping television and all of its wonderful casters, me being uh, number one, of course. But uh, my own shout-outs, I just want to just quickly say uh, a big old shout-out to uh, the towns of Swan Hill and Warrnambool. Uh, fantastic places, and if you're ever looking for somewhere, you know, local tourism, you get some get some going. Um, other than that, uh, I want to shout out to Bert's mum and dad. It's <laughs> mad that you guys like, I don't like actually watching the stream. So <laughs> sick. Um, and uh, like everyone else, I do want to I do want to thank me uh, me woman for putting up with this. She's going to be extremely relieved that uh, I can finally cook dinner again. Um, and uh, other than that. I do want to say uh, a big old shout out to Capping TV. I always like casting it and it's good to be able to get on. Um, and of course, the viewers, thanks for tuning in. It's been a fat season and uh, I'm simultaneously glad and upset that it's over. So thank you for watching. This has been the uh, season 29 Open Grand Finals. This is my final cast for the season. And uh, Capping Television signing off, I suppose. We'll probably pass on over to uh, the other stream if that one's still going. But thank you for tuning in and uh, have a bloody good evening, all right?